Hey guys, so I'm starting out by priming my eyes using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just blending it out using an F60, just patting it into the skin and sort of swiping it across my eyelids. Then going into the Morphe 25A palette, I am picking up those two matte kind of bony skin tone shades. Um, so I just set the lids using that and then I applied some tape and then I'm taking this light peach shade to use that as a transition in my crease. Well, it's kind of really above my crease because of those hooded lids, but yeah. Then I dipped into the color next to that one, which is an even peachier type of shade and I'm just doing the exact same thing. And then I'm taking the next shade along. It's more of like a yellowy kind of spewy kind of color, but it ends up looking really nice when you put it in the crease. Then I'm taking this kind of rusty brown shade and I'm starting to build that up right into the crease, but much more precisely than the other two shades. That's why I used an E25 brush. And then I took this kind of deep mocha brown shade and kind of just doing the same thing but I'm focusing this along at the edge of the tape just to kind of make it you know have that winged out effect then on an E39 I picked up the matte black shade and I'm just starting to press this and buff it into the very outer corner then I took this gorgeous shade from Colourpop it's called I heart this and I just used my finger to apply it. I should have kind of used a base underneath, I feel like, but it still ended up looking fairly pretty. And then I created a winged liner using the Sigma Line Ace in the shade Legend, which is just a matte black. Then I removed the tape from the outer corners and applied some black coal pencil into my tight line. This one is just from Models Prefer. It's super creamy and nice. Then I applied a coat of this Bourjois Volume something mascara. The name will be listed down below. It honestly wasn't anything special though, to be honest. And then I applied these lashes from Klepke called Ibiza. Then moving on to the face, I used the model's own mattifying face primer and just spread that all over my skin and then foundation, I used the LA Girl Pro Pro Coverage Foundation I think it's called or something like that. Um, so I applied some of it to my face and then just buffed it out using an F80 Kabuki. Um, the colour was really orange and look I dropped some on my light coloured shirt, I was so pissed. Um, yeah, as I was saying, the colour's a little bit orangey, but I just blended it down my neck and made it work. Then I used the Tarte Shape Tape again to conceal my under eyes. I always go to pick up a different one and I always come back to Tarte Shape Tape because it is just too good. This one's in fair neutral and I, as you can see, I popped it under my eyes and then down the centre of my face. Then I used the NYX, uh, what is this, foundation stick in the shade Caramel to cream contour a little bit so I just applied it to all the perimeters where I normally would contour and buffed it out using my F57 Emphasize Contour Brush. Then I used the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and I just used a small brush for my under eyes and then an F25 for the rest of my face. Then going into my Inglot palette I first took this bronzer shade. All of the numbers will be listed down below. Um, but yeah, I used an F55 Little Duo Fiber Brush and I just started to apply the bronzer um, and then I went over to an F05 just because I wasn't getting enough product and I wanted my contour to be a little bit more noticeable. So I mixed together two shades, a bronzer and a contour. Then I used this bright pink blush that's in my palette. Again, I will have the number of it listed down below. And then I used the Tarte setting spray just to spray all over my face and then I went in with this highlighter I do know the number of this it's 153 um, again it's from Inglot and I applied my setting spray first just for a change to see if the highlighter stuck to my skin better but don't think it made much of a difference then moving back onto the eyes for the lower lash line I took that kind of spewy kind of shade again and buffed that with an E40 under the lower lash line 
and then I took that rusty warm toned brown and used my E25 just did the same thing I wanted it to be pretty smoky on my lower lash line uh, and then I'm taking that more kind of cool tone brown I guess just building up the browns on the lower lash line and then of course going in with the black and just doing the same thing and kind of joining it in the outer corner where my winged liner is then I picked up some more of that uh, I Heart This shade from Colourpop and applied it to the lower lash line with my finger. And then applying some black into my waterline and some lower lash mascara. Then this was my third lip colour I had put on, nothing was working. So I'm using this lip liner from Rimmel in the shade Spice I think it's called. Um, and I filled in my entire lips, so outlined them first and then filled them in. And then I went in with one of the Mecca Max little shimmer shot lip glosses. Um, I'll have the name of it listed down below, but oh my gosh, this thing is so gorgeous. So it's like a bronzy, bronzy shade. But yeah, that completed the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.